everybody, what is up? My name is Town Lister, and I'm coming to you here from the Perifio Lounge. First of all, if you have never watched one of our videos before, be sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content like this in the future. We've got gameplay, we do live streams every week, a lot of cool stuff coming out, a lot of tips and tricks just like this, so be sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. This video is going to be all about how to record your gameplay and stream it with OBS. You can actually record and stream simultaneously. That way you can take that footage and you can put it into an editor later and make clip compilations and stuff like that. But today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to stream. So first of all, you can see I've already got OBS Studio installed, but uh, first of all, if you don't already have it installed, you're just going to go to perifio.com. And once you hit perifio.com, you're going to go to the Getting Started tab. Guys, I'll have a link to this in the description. It's linked in every single one of our video descriptions that we put out over the last couple of weeks. This is the best place to go if you're new to PC gaming. We have links to a bunch of different game marketplaces and links to a bunch of different tools that will really help you out. But we're going to go ahead and click on free tools for streamers and YouTubers. And that will take us down here and you're going to click on the download link for OBS. If you're on Windows, I assume you are. If you're watching this, you'll go ahead and just click download installer right here. You'll download it and install that. And once you have finished the install process, you will be opened up to a tab that looks something like this, except probably without the camera. So you can see here, uh, I have it set up for what I enjoy doing for streaming. And so right now I would normally have a game client pulled in here and I would normally have a, a webcam like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to uh, kind of set all of this up and, uh, and stream your games basically. So first what you'll do when you, when you boot this up, it'll be completely blank. So you won't have this webcam, you won't have any of this, you won't have any of these scenes, you won't have any of these sources. So what you're going to do first is you're going to come down here and you're going to click this little plus tab under the scenes. And we're just going to call this game. So basically this right here will be where we will insert our game capture. So. Once you've created a scene, then you will have to add a source. You'll come over here to sources and you'll click on this plus button right here. And from here, depending on what you're doing, you can select either display capture, which will capture your whole display, or you can select game capture. For this purpose, I'm gonna do display capture. However, I would recommend that you do game capture just in case you have other stuff going on while you're playing a game and you only wanna stream your game. So. We'll go ahead and select display capture and as you can see here I have my display right here so this is super confusing right now I know it is because it is infinite but this is where you will start off and obviously if you take a game full screen like if I start Fortnite right now it will go ahead and it will make this Fortnite, obviously. So if you want to add a webcam to this, a lot of people like having their cam on while they stream, what you'll do is you'll come down here to sources and you'll select video capture device. So you'll select video capture device and we'll go ahead and add that. And then you would select USB camera, it would pop up here and then you just click OK. In this case, I've already created a video capture device, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And to remove, you just select it and then do that. And I'm gonna select my video capture device that I've already created, and I will insert it here. And now, obviously, I have a 1080p webcam here. What I will do is I can resize this. So basically, you can make it as big or as small as you want. I'll make it around this size here and we will put it right over here. And now I have my screen capture here along with my webcam capture here. 
and if you have a microphone attached it will pop up right here uh, it, it's not showing any wave because I'm recording this with GeForce Experience like how I showed you guys how to record gameplay before but it would normally pop up here and you can adjust levels this is your desktop audio so you can adjust levels here for your game audio and then if you want to use the microphone on your webcam you would unmute this and then and then set your audios there if you don't want to use the microphone on your webcam i don't recommend it i recommend you get some sort of external microphone like i'm using here then you would just mute that and you can select your audio there Now, as you can see, I have created a bunch of different scenes here. So I have my primary mix, which is my game capture and my camera window here. I have just my webcam. So you can go through and you can actually select these scenes and you can put in whatever you want. So right here, I've got a, a commercial for the Spectre. I've got a commercial for our full lineup. I also have an intermission uh, media source that kind of loops back and forth. And to do that, if you wanted to put some, some sort of video that you have obviously full rights to, you don't want to be streaming anything that uh, could get you banned off of Facebook or YouTube or anything like that. But if you have a video that you have the rights to, what you would do is you would just create a new scene, obviously. We'll just name this video. And then you would click the plus here, and then you would select a media source. And basically this allows you to select a file so you would browse and then you would select whatever video file you want and if you wanted it to loop like if you created an intermission video like i did and you wanted it to loop while you were going to the bathroom or something like that you would just select loop there and then whenever you come back you can just switch your scene which is really really cool so obviously something like this i have on a loop and then i can just switch back to my primary mix and it's as simple as that so that's how you create scenes that's how you input sources into those scenes now what i'm going to show you guys is how to actually stream that footage to the the provider of your choice so for us we use facebook so i'll show you guys how to do facebook and you all we also occasionally stream to twitch and youtube so those are select those are things that you can do as well but uh, to stream what you'll do is you'll come down here to settings and you'll select stream so from here you select your service so they have twitch youtube facebook and and twitter already in there and then you would obviously leave your server as default and then you would put in your stream key so you're gonna have to get a stream key from your stream service provider so facebook for example you click go live it gives you an option to get a stream key from there youtube is the same way whenever you click go live you can either go live with your camera or you can get a stream key you would select get a stream key and then paste it into there and then once you've done that it's really super simple so you want to make sure that you're streaming at the settings that you want to be streaming at a lot of places like facebook they limit you to 720p and youtube i believe you can stream up to 4k if you have the internet and the system to do that by all means go forth and conquer but um if you're streaming with a previo system i would recommend you keep it to 720p 60 or 1080p 30 those are both good settings that the system can handle really really well and so what you'll do is you'll select video and then this you will select your output resolution so you go down here settings and then you go to video and then this is going to be your output resolution so this is going to be the resolution that you'll be streaming at so if i want to stream at 1080 i'd select 1080 i've selected 720p and then if you want to stream at 30 fps you would select 30 here otherwise we do 60 we do 720p 60 and we're happy with it so you would obviously do that and then on output you would select whatever bitrate works for you we don't recommend streaming at anything below 3500 kilobits per second if you do anything below that it doesn't look very good so you do have to have decent internet for this 
So your upload speed is what's gonna matter here. A lot of people focus on download speed. Your upload speed is gonna what's gonna matter for streaming. And you're gonna wanna make sure that your upload speed is at least 10 megabit per second. If it is not, you probably won't have a good experience with streaming and I wouldn't recommend it at all. But if your upload speed is at least 10 meg per second, then you can select 5,000 kilobit per second. And that's what we think is a good speed for 720p 60fps stream. So otherwise, you don't really have to mess with anything here. OBS will really select what is best for you by the settings that you have selected. So if you select 1080p 60fps, it's going to bump up that video bitrate. Um, and here, if you have a an NVIDIA NVENC enabled card, so the GTX 1650 Super, Super 1660 Super, and those cards are in the red, the Phantom and the Spectre. If you have a Perifio system, all of those have the NVENC encoder. If you're watching this and you don't have a Perifio system, any of the 16 series cards, the 20 series cards, or the 30 series cards from NVIDIA, so things like 2060, 2070, 2080, and then the 3070, 3080, those all have NVIDIA's NVENC encoder, and you would select that here. It should automatically capture that, but if it doesn't, this is where you would go to select that. You would select output here. And if you want to record your stream, so if you want to take your stream and you want to you want to create a compilation or something like that, this is where you would set your recording path and quality. So if you want to record the same quality as your stream, then you would select that here. And then this is where you will it will save the output file when you stop recording. So I have mine set to videos so that I know exactly where to go and I have my recording quality set same as stream and that way I'm still getting those, that solid quality and the good FPS rate. So guys, once you have all of those settings in here, then all you would do is you would just select start streaming and start recording and you should be streaming live on whatever platform you've set up. Um, like I said, we stream to Facebook and Facebook makes it really easy. I would recommend it. Um, and basically, as soon as you start streaming here, it puts it into your recording dashboard or into your streaming dashboard and then you just select go live. And YouTube is the exact same way. Services like Twitch fo function the exact same way as well. So all of these services have really made it, or tried to make it as easy as possible for you guys to stream your games. And like I said, stuff like the Red, the Phantom, and the Spectre all have the NVENC encoder built in. So we would recommend streaming on those systems and you shouldn't have any issues. What's great about NVIDIA's NVENC encoder is it uses the GPU rather than the CPU resources to stream your games. So you don't have as much system, as much strain being put on the system as you normally would. So that's why we recommend those systems to stream. If you have another system or you have a, a newer system that has a super powerful processor, but you have something like a, a Radeon card, go for it. But we do recommend NVIDIA cards specifically because they have that encoder built in. So guys, that's gonna be it from us on how to stream your games with OBS. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down in the comments below. Again, if you've never watched a video from us before and you're not already subscribed, be sure and do that and hit the notification bell. And if you're not uh, following us on any of our other social media, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, and we're on TikTok. If you're not following us there, be sure you follow us. We have different content going to all of them now. So, you know, if you're only following us on Twitter or you're only following us on Instagram, you're missing out. Be sure you follow us on all the platforms to get the most up-to-date content from us here at Perifio. And guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks.